Hi everyone, and what an episode we have for you today, uh, presenting the Angel Uruyu, a port light fortified wine by Sele Mosca, uh, one of Sardinia's biggest names, most well known, uh, well known around the world. Uh, like I said, a port like fortified wine made from 100% Canonal grapes. Today, uh, sitting beside me is Mr. Alessandro Mancini, our sales executive for the Portsmouth and Bournemouth area. Welcome, Matt, Alessandro. Thank you, Nick, and uh, hi to everyone watching online. Where can we begin with Sele Mosca, such a big name, uh, a well-known mm. Sardinian brand? We could literally talk about them for days. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it all began with a partnership between an engineer, uh, Mr. Sella, and his lawyer, Mr. Mosca. At the turn of the 20th century, the joint interest into fertilizing the virgin lands of Sardinia gave birth to one of the most pre prestigious producers as we know today. They were both uh, keen travelers and amateur Egyptologists. Uh, in fact, the estate's logo uh, actually has a fascinating story behind it. Do you want to let our viewers know? Yeah, it's, if you look closely to the logo, um, it resembled an ancient Egyptian wine pressing scene that um, it was. Um, it came across uh, one of the travels in um, in Egypt, and um, five men using a, a pole to press the grapes containing a sack with juice filtered through the fabric and fell into a vat. Keeping in line with uh, with the depiction, Selimoska's estates also have a lot of history behind them, especially that of the Angelo Ruyu, after which this famous wine is named. Yeah, uh, Angelo Ruyu is named after the necropolis was found um, during the excavation uh, of the area. And uh, today there is a museum next to uh, the vineyard. So if you get to visit the canteen, you also can visit the museum of Angelo Ruyu next to it. I'm sure it's a fascinating site as well. But before we do run out of uh, time in this episode, let's get back to the wine, which is what we're here to talk about. Yeah. So what, <laughs> Alessandro, do you think makes this Vino Liquoroso so special? Well, um, it all began like uh, all great invention uh, by a mistake. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Sella and Mosca were trying to produce a port style wine in Sardinia using um, cuts from the Douro region in Portugal. Um, so um, the uh, result wasn't great. Uh, so they tried to experiment using local grapes variety. Um, and they, they started, of course, with Canona, which is the best, the, the best known of the regular grape variety in Sardinia. And the result is in front of our eyes. It's just incredible. It is a very good product. And it does stand up to uh, some great aged ports. As we know, Port was famous and is still famous and has been over uh, centuries. And I presume Sele Mosca wanted to produce something uh, to get in on the act uh, and produce something uh, like an Italian equivalent to that of Port from Portugal. Now, I'm uh, very intrigued with this wine personally because I have never tried it before. And also because Alivini has just reintroduced it uh, just earlier this year. Yes, and I'm extremely happy and excited about this because, uh, of course, I knew Angel Ruyu from before in uh, Alivini, but I also knew Angel Ruyu for many years ago. Being Sardinian myself, mm -hmm. I grew up with this wine and uh, I love it. And I'm sure you're going to love it too, Nick. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> Let's see what it has. I just swirled it and it, it releases the raisin aroma, muscular. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet, which is a, a great thing. It doesn't make it sickly. And there's no real presence of alcohol. It's amazing. You wouldn't <clears> think <throat> that, considering it's got 18 and a half 18 and percent a half. volume. Uh, yeah. So the Canonau grapes are uh, sun-dried for about 20 days under the beautiful Sardinian sun. And um, it's... Um, is vinified using a standard red wine production method. So you'll get a red wine taste uh, texture to it, but at the same time, you have a passito uh, type taste mm -hmm. as well. It does feel easier to drink than a typical uh, 
uh, good aged port. Um, and like you said, the body is very similar to that of a, a typical uh, good canonal of uh, Sardinia. Yeah, the production it begins with an alcohol level of about 12 to 13 percent, like a normal red wine. Uh, then, for to stabilize the wine character, is uh, then aged in still uh, vats for about five months. Uh, then alcohol is added to it, so it reaches the 19 percent it needed, and uh, then is aged in oak cast for a minimum of five years. Wow, uh, five years is a very long yeah. time, uh, but. It does produce a great quality product. Let's not also forget to mention that it's only produced in a very limited quantities when they do produce it. And this today that we're producing is a 2005 and it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the perfect time probably, just a few days before Christmas to buy some of it. <laughs> um, it will go extremely well uh, with dessert, especially with anything with chocolate. New Year's. Christmas, perfect time. I'm sure you've uh, tickled some taste buds, and I know you've <coughs> tickled mine because uh, Alessandro's brought out a panettone as well, by which this pairs beautifully also, a classic panettone, uh, especially when it's just out of the oven. Well, can't yeah. beat it. As I say, perfect with chocolate, dessert in general, but it's really good on its own as well. Um, as a meditation. As a meditation wine. wine. Um, so if you like uh, port or Madeira wine, uh, this uh, is um, an absolutely pick for this Christmas. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. We end the episode on such a, a great note. Um, we wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you again, Alessandro, for joining us and uh, taking us through the history behind this Angelo Ruyu. Thank you, Nick, and thank you to everyone watching online. Thanks Cheers. again. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.